Hi, it's Anene Kalistus here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create and how to import charts of account into say 50 premium accounting software. Now, as you can see on my screen, this is the the home page of a company I created on say 50 accounting software and this came this company was created to maintain their financial records for the financial year 1st of january 2022 to 31st Gen december 2022 so to be able to set up this company on to fully set up this company on say 50 i need to import their the charts of account for the last financial year which is 31st December, which is at 31st December 2021. So on my Excel sheet, let me share with you. On my Excel sheet, this is the, the charts of account for this company as at 31st December 2021, like as you can see on this column. Now, we are going to import all these accounts. There are about 77 of them. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this in two ways. One, how you can create them one after the other and how you can and you can and how you can import them all at once which is the the most easy and effective method now how do you create these charts of account one after the other so i'm going to show you how to create the first two so how do we do that so let me head over to my say 50 now on the menu in the menu bar go to maintain click on charts of account now I have this box that will pop up on my screen where I will enter the details of the accounts one after the other. Now on this box that shows on my screen, the first information I'm asked they are being asked is the account ID. So our first account has an account ID of one triple zero. So what the name of the account or the description is our GTB. It's our GTB bank account. Now every account balance is for every account balance, you must select one of the following types. And we have six different, seven different account types here. We have account payables, account receivables, accumulated depreciation, cash, cost of sales, equity doesn't close, equity gets close. We have equity retained earnings, expenses, and we have fixed asset income, inventory, long term liability, and the list continues. So every bank account and your cash on hand will be classified on that cash account. So that is selected. Now, I will forget about entering the beginning balance. Now what's the account beginning balance is this, this button you see here. Now it's requesting for you on clicking this button, say 50 require that you enter the balances as at the last month of the last financial year which in this case is 31st of December 2021. But, but an easier, easy way to go about this is forget about entering their beginning balances as at the end of the last month of the year. Create all the accounts one after the other. Then you now enter the balances. Enter the balances one after the other. Now, we've created this account. So I'm going to click Save and New. I want to create our next account, which is 1001, and that account is our GTB bank account. It's our Union Bank account. I beg your pardon. Union Bank. It's our Union Bank account. So I'm going to click Save and New. So I'm going to close. So now, let's take a look at our charts of account, the list of our charts of account. So to do that, you come to Maintain charts of account you come here click on list now you see the list of our all our accounts so it's because we've created just these two accounts this is the two showing here so if you create as many accounts as you have you're going to see them all lined up and listed here now how do i now import my charts of account this company has account balances at last year 77 different accounts how do i import charts of account when i have a huge list list that makes up my charts of account 
Now, before I, I'll be able to do that, I need to know the format that is acceptable for me to import an account, charts of account from my Excel to Sage 50. So how do I go about that? So what I'll do first is I'm going to export my charts of account to Excel. Then when I get to Excel, I'll be able to see the formats that these accounts are being set up on Sage 50. So what do I mean? So I'm going to export this our charts of account. We have just two accounts so far. So how do I go about exporting them? I'll come to my file menu, click on file menu, come to this option called select import slash export. Now this select import slash export box pops up. Now go to general, select the option from these various options here, general ledger, and ensure your charts of account list is selected. Now you now click on export. Now on this charts of accounts list box that appears, Let's head over to the field column. Now this field column here is showing us a column, a, a heading. On this, this heading you call show. Now this will be the columns that you want, the desired columns you want to see when you export this chart of account to Excel. So as it is now, if I export the chart of account, which is just made up of our two accounts so far, I'm going to see a heading for ledger general ledger account id i'm going to see a column for account description i'll see a column for account type a column and a column labeled inactive as well as four other columns a column for tax code a column titled next ref a column titled current balance and another column with heading called 1099 settings now i want to add two more columns i want to to be visible on my Excel, Excel sheet. So I'll add these two. Debit period end 31st January 2021. Debit period 31st January 2021. Credit period, I mean, that end 31st December 2021. So I'm going to export it. So these 10 columns are going to show on my Excel. Now I'll come to the next tab here, option. Now I need to, where do I want this exported file to go to? Now, you can choose any location you want to, but I want it the exported file, the file I'm going to export to be to show on my desktop as charts of account. So I'll just call it C O A small s charts of accounts. So it's going to be given the file name charts of account and it's going to appear on my desktop. So I'll click on open. Now this is the file location or the file path that I've selected that I want to the file to be located on so i must now under the if you see this box here it's showing you all the different export options i want the very the, the the excel sheet to, to to include headings so i'm going to click on this box called include headings and i'm now going to click on okay so now i'll now check go to my charts of go to my desktop and look for the file as I named it to be. So if I go into desktop, I should look for a, a file called COS. So this is it. This is not this one I created earlier. COS charts of accounts. Now let me open it and now now open it to see the format. Now this is the format. So I can increase this the the width of this column. Let me increase the width of this column so I can see the headings properly. The headings properly so okay so I've exported them as exported it successfully like I like I choose in the set in the very first headings first row represents heading now we have how many columns one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is the format that I will use in importing all my charts of account into Sage 50. Now, because I have taken time to import, to enter the, create the charts of account one after the other, and I now have a list in this format. Now, let me show you that list. This is the list in this format now. All the accounts, and I enter them one after the other to be able to know 
then I exported it to be able to know how I can import it back. So having created the account one after the other at the back of the scene, I have this account here, all of them here. Now, if this company is using C50 for the very first time, or it's a company that is just starting up, now the company will need to create the account one after the other for the first financial year. For at the end of the first financial year, you will now import the charts of account. So at the beginning of the next the second financial year, you won't have to enter them one after the other. You just import these charts of account. As new account heading are being added, are being account comes up, you can now add them as you want. So I'm going to export this, import this into my Sage 50. So how do I do that? So let me head over to my C50. Uh, so before that, I want to delete these two accounts that are already created. I'm importing them back. So how do you delete an account? You double click on it. You come to delete. And are you sure you want to delete this record? Yes, I want to delete it. So I now go to the next account. So I have my union bar equally deleted. So I'll double click. Click on delete. And yes. So our charts of account is now empty. I'm now going to import all the charts of account at once. So how do I do that? I'll head over to my C50. I'll come to my file menu. Come to select slash imp ex select select import slash export. So I'll now come for the various for this various heading select general ledger and ensure charts of account list is selected. You now click on import. Now, these are the various headings that are going to show. So, two, I need to include debit period and 31st January 2021, credit period and 31st January 2021. Why am I selecting these two? It's because we are maintaining financial record on stage 50 for the financial year 2022. So, I'm, I'm going to select 31st December. 31st January, I beg your pardon, 2021, these two columns, I'm going to add these two columns to, to them, which are debit period and 31st January 2021, credit period and 31st January 2021. If you are maintaining for the year 2023, so you are, you are supposed to select debit period and 31st January 2022, credit period and 31st January 2022. So let's so understand that. Now, I'll, we now have how many columns that are going to show 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 columns. So I will select that. I'll click come to options. Now I need to choose. Now I need to choose the file. Now this, this Excel sheet. Um, now which file am I to choose? This Excel sheet here that I've created all of them. So I'll now come here. Come to my come here and now look for the location of that file so I'm going to trace the location of, of that file so I'll come to uh, let me check okay this is the file I'll click on it okay then this section by my right shows you import options so you must select these options for first row contains headings so this will ensure that your first row will be for headings so I'll select that and I can now click OK. Now, Sage says you should make a backup before attempting to import. Would you like to continue? Yes. So I've imported. So let me switch over to my Sage 50 and see if my charts of accounts are there. Yes, you can see them. So all our charts of accounts, about 76 of them, have been imported successfully without us creating them one after the other. Now, you are not done. The running balances are still sh showing zero. Now, Sage 50 does not permit you to import your charts of account with your balances. You have to do them manually one after the other. So how do you do that? I'll double click on this. So I'll now come to enter, to, to enter the account, click on account beginning balances. Now, a box shows, pops up called select period. Now, the period you are going to select here will be the last month of the last financial year. Remember I said we are setting up 
search for this company and maintaining their books of their account for the year 2022 meaning we'll be posting transaction for the year 2022 but but now we are we need to select the last month the last month of the last year so we'll now come here the last month of the last year should be 1st of december 2021 through 31st december 2021 i'll click on okay so i will now be left to enter the account balances one after the other so for this first account i can just pick the figure click on copy come here on my search 50 on that dialog box i enter the figure so uh, you will do that for all the accounts let me paste this so you do that for all be entering their balances to go through the list one after the other and that will be all so i can now yes okay so haven't done that so thank you very much for watching this video it's an analysis please do well to like subscribe and share this video do have a fantastic day.